Famed investor Michael Burry is now warning of an extended multi-year recession in the U.S., yet he is continuing to buy different positions. And over the last few months, he's accumulated tens of millions of dollars of six different stocks, which we've talked about in previous videos. And many people are wondering, well, what's next? Are we going to see an economic slowdown? Are we going to continue to see stock markets fall? Are we going to continue to see the economy drop? And today, I just want to unpack that. So first thing is let's talk about Michael Burry, because Michael Burry recently warned of an extended multi-year recession in the U.S., but he also came out on Twitter and said that he is no longer short on U.S. markets. So why is he saying there's going to be a multi-year recession, yet he is continuing to buy different positions? And reason for this is because, yes, we are going to see an economic slowdown. It's inevitable. All the data is showing this. The Federal Reserve is no longer printing money like they did during the pandemic. Borrowing rates are significantly higher. Money just isn't as easy easily accessible as it used to be, and companies are laying off tens of thousands of workers. So the reason why he is buying different positions, even though he's predicting a multi-year recession, is because when things are slow and things aren't growing, it doesn't mean we're going to see further drops. We've already seen the stock market drop 30-40%. Many stocks drop even more than that from all-time highs. So now is a good time to be buying. It just doesn't mean we're going to see things bounce back as quickly as they did during the pandemic or as quickly as people want. We could just see prices wallow and stay lower and not really have much movement higher for the next few years. And that is what Michael Burry is predicting. So remember, it just because he's buying doesn't mean that things are going to immediately go higher. It could take a few years for the economy to recover, for markets to recover. All right, so the biggest lesson I've learned and many crypto investors have learned the hard way in 2022 is not your keys, not your crypto. And that's the reason why I wanted to partner up with Brew Money, because Brew Money is the simplest and most secure way to earn high yields on your crypto while still having 100% security in your funds. You see, what I like most about Brew Money is that first, you are in complete control of your crypto as you have total ownership of your Brew Money wallet. You have the seed phrase, you have the private key. It is 100% yours, it is secure. The second is that you could also easily make a deposit through Apple Pay or through your bank account, which not many crypto platforms allow you to do. The way it works is pretty simple. You simply deposit money into your Brew Money account. They convert it into crypto like USDC. You select from a range of different DeFi protocols, and you're able to start earning higher yields and passive income on your holdings. Brew Money works with vetted blue chip protocols like Matic. Ave, Balance, and Stater. So you simply select DeFi protocol, specify the amount, and you start earning yield on your positions. Brew Money is currently offering a limited time bonus where you get $25 on a first time deposit of $200 or more. All you have to do is use the code WRUBEL FAM, and the bonus will be credited within 24 hours. Brew Money's ultimate goal is to help millions of investors with their crypto and earning high yields while also maintaining self custody. So use my link in the description and check out Brew Money. What we're seeing from other major analysts is that according to a recent study done by CNBC, they're predicting that 80%, it says that 80% of retail investors think the stock market will bottom and the worst will be over within the next six months. So by mid 2023, and this is according to a study done on retail investors, retail investors have seen the massive losses over 2022, not only in crypto space, but in the stock market, if people bought houses, they've seen losses all across the board. So when in this study, this shows that there's so much fear in the market right now that so many people are expecting the worst is already here. I would just warn yet again that yes, the bottom is probably already in, if not going to be in very soon, but that doesn't mean things are going to rebound as fastly as people think. So retail investors, according to this report, if you read into it, they think we're going to see markets rally, much like we did after the pandemic, but that's simply not the case, in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts on that. In addition to this, we've also seen that major CEOs like Wells Fargo CEO came out and says that we are expecting a fairly weak economy through the next year and that we are definitely already seeing a slowdown take place. And 
this is pretty obvious. It doesn't take a genius to know that we have seen a massive slowdown in the economy. Like I said, borrowing rates are up. Housing market is starting to come back down. Stock market has fallen tremendously. And so when you're seeing major banks and major CEOs, you've seen Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Wells Fargo CEO, and many more, they're all saying markets are going to come down, prepare for the worst. That is when you know you should be careful with your money. So leading into holiday seasons, leading into the end of the year, make sure you're not spending on unnecessary items. Jeff Bezos has come out and warned investors and warned the entire U.S. population not to buy TVs, not to buy refrigerators, not to buy big purchases during this time of year when you would think he would be saying the opposite. You would think as a major shareholder in Amazon, former CEO of Amazon, he would be saying saying to buy things, yet he's saying don't. So when someone like that is saying don't buy stuff, don't buy TVs, don't buy refrigerators, don't buy stuff from a company that he owns a majority share of, that's when you know things are not going to be good. And the last few things I want to go over is just a note to investors, because I've been talking about this a lot on Twitter as of recently. And one of the biggest things I see is people in the stock market only invest in stocks. People in crypto only invest in crypto. People in real estate focus only on real estate. And yes, it is good to invest in things you know. Good to stick with what you know and continue to build on that. But the biggest warning is that you always should be diversified. And a lot of people in the crypto space don't touch anything else. They don't want to invest in stocks. They don't want to invest in real estate. And it's the same in every other sector. You see people get so tied to one sector that they don't want to invest or put money elsewhere. And the biggest warning and the biggest caution, I would say, is it's always best to be diversified. Don't put all your money in crypto. Don't put all your money in the stock market. Don't put all your money in real estate. Make sure you're diversified, that you have cash on hand. And when we see the economy... We see signs of a recovery. We see things looking better. Then you have all this extra money on the sidelines in cash that you can deploy and make a significantly larger return than other people who are all into one space. So that's just something just to keep in mind. And what we're seeing right now is obviously there are signs that inflation is coming back down, but the Federal Reserve is still hiking interest rates. It's not that they've stopped at all. A continue to say that they're going to do at least 50 basis points moving forward. And it's all going to be dependent on data coming out over the coming months to really give us a sure sign is, is the economy recovering? recovering? Are we going to avoid a hard landing in the economy or are we going to see a softer landing? 